this many shirts that I want to show you. They're all different. So as you can see, they're all different. I have that many shirts for reference and today I'm gonna talk about shirts. Regardless of whichever style you're going for, regardless of your age, where you live, and even your gender, you will or you have or you're like me and you own a lot of shirts. Now when I search how to style search on any social media platform, there are a lot of misleading information such as do this, you will look better. That's not the case. Today I'm gonna show you how you can fit the exact same shirt to whatever style that you want and what you should look for to find the perfect shirt that fits your outfit. So let the lecture begin. Styling your lifestyle. Since before the middle age, shirts were usually worn as underwear and nightgowns. So it wasn't really like an outer piece that you show to other people. It was more of like pajamas or something that you wear underneath whatever blazer you're gonna wear. So blazer was the outer piece and then shirts were kind of like, kind of like this, you know, the white t-shirts that you layer in the basic form, that's what shirts were. Then in the 18th centuries, people started to wear shirts as how we know the dress shirt today. So they started to make like collars bigger. They started putting like different patterns, different prints. And today we landed on a landscape where there's like crazy prints on shirts. I don't have those unfortunately because I'm not a big fan of like crazy prints, but for celebrities and for like flashy looks, those are also great. And I own a lot of shirts and I want to tell you how I pick those shirts, basically like how you should shop, what you should consider and how I style it. Because even if you buy the same shirt, you can style it in like semi-formal, casual, workwear, minimal. You can style it in many different ways. So it doesn't always have to be like tuck in your pants, then that's the best way. It's not like that. Before shopping, the first thing I would consider rather than the design is the fabric. What type of shirt are you looking for? Is it linen? Is it cotton? Is it like mix of rayon and cotton? There are all different shirts. So you gotta pick like, do I need cotton shirts or linen shirts for my wardrobe? That's something that you gotta decide and I will show you the difference. So for example, this one is 100% linen and the characteristics of linen shirts is that it's really like creasing and you're supposed to live with these creases. You you don't really have to iron it. Like personally, this was in my wardrobe for maybe like six months because this is kind of like a summer shirt. And then compare that to cotton and rayon mix, which is a bit more shinier, but it does crease more. And when you're confused about what does rayon do, what does polyester do in a shirt, most times when you see synthetic material, it will make it more like more shiny. So for example, this one is it has mix of rayon with cotton. And then as you can see, it reflects light more than something like this, like a, like a linen shirt. So I will first go with linen and change and show you how it looks. This is linen shirts. Linen shirts are more casual than formal. And I personally love it because, because of the casual mood that it provides. And you can also do this like, can just roll it i mean cotton you can still do it but i feel like linen it gives more of a natural mood and a casual mood so that oh wow that's something that i that's something that i like with linen shirts and honestly like when i'm wearing shirts i don't like to button it fully up that's one thing that i'm going to talk about in the later section but i like to layer something like a tank top and then just wear this because that gives more of a gives more of a better aesthetics in my opinion so this is how linen looks. Compare that to, I mean, the first benefit is that you can live with creases. Like it doesn't, it doesn't look weird, right? It looks like it's supposed to be creased. And then this is another linen shirt that has all the creases with it. That's just how you wear it. You don't really have to take care of it. That's one thing that I really love about linen shirts. And I'm a big fan of linen rather than cotton. So <laughs> compare this to a rayon viscose, no rayon cotton mix put it on and show you if you look at this it's more shiny right and the creasings like you gotta iron this you can't go out like this and that's basically the difference when you look at the texture it's a bit smoother uh, can you see it yeah it's a bit smoother compared to this one where it's rougher see how it's all rough and basically linen is almost see-through uh, you can't see it here but oh I'll do the flashlight again so linen is like 100% see-through and then cotton blocks more. So that's something you can consider when shopping for, uh, what's it called? Shopping for summer shirts. And the fabric can really decide the mood. For example, this 100% cotton shirt, this one is a bit more formal as you can see. Like you can see that it's not too shiny. I will actually put this on. 
one cool tip you can only like un unbutton the top three or something and just put it on like a sweater but anyway this is how 100% cotton looks it's more of like the formal uh what's it called formal button-up shirt button-down shirts that you've seen that's basically how cotton feels to give a quick comparison 100% cotton is more formal and then when there's like synthetic mix with cotton it becomes more of like a sporty look so this one it somewhat gives like a sporty feel compared to the compared to the cotton because it also like uh what's it called it's rubbery it stretches yeah it stretches versus cotton it won't stretch at all this won't stretch at all and then linen gives more a of a natural like a rugged out feel linen doesn't really stretch either so that is basically the difference of different fabrics and the mood that it can give and don't get me wrong fabric isn't the only thing that can decide the mood but i feel like the mood starts from the fabric because colors can give different moods designs like patterns and different prints it can totally change the mood but fabric is i think where the mood all starts and then the silhouette you got to know if you're looking for oversized loose fit or a regular fit those are all different and also like what i like to do is if i really like the shirt in that store i like to try different sizes and then whatever fits the mood the most i will go with that size i usually wear a small but sometimes i buy like medium sometimes i buy large i never went to extra large but i always like to try different sizes so that should give you a brief understanding of what i look for when shopping for shirts and then i will try different shirts as i've just tried and show you how it all differs but before that i gotta so I will do something like, how should I go about this? Cause my room's too messy to like show you everything. But I guess I can do a top shot like this and then a bottom shot like this. Okay, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just start, I can't, I can't just delay it and say I can't do this. So this is a shirt from Youth. It's pretty oversized. As you can see, it's 100% cotton, and this is basically how I would style it. If anything, I would wear with a blazer. And if I am wearing with the blazer, what I like to do is only button like the top two. So then that gives more of a, it gives more of a natural, not natural, but kind of a distinct look. Because when you're walking, when you're walking, it's going to open up. That's the part that I like. So when you're walking, it's going to create that V shape. And then when you're just like sitting down or something, it will show the top portion. So it looks a bit more clean. And this is how I would style Oxford shirts. And by the way, when you roll up your sleeve, just do this. Like you don't really have to take care of how many folds should I do. Just do whatever you feel comfortable. You can do like this or you can just roll it up like this. Doesn't really matter. No one really cares. And I feel like the more natural it looks, the more like, I don't care type of look it gives, it looks better. So this is how I would tailor. I mean, this is how I would fit 100% cotton shirt. And then one thing to uh, keep in mind is when you're wearing shirts, you are going to get the yellow parts here regardless of how clean you are it's not the measure of how dirty and clean you are it's just like when you wear it it's gonna happen and i really suggest hand washing it because if you tumble if you machine wash the entire shirt just because of that part the lifespan of a shirt will decrease a lot and for example something like this if you got patterns here then i like to fold it up so that it shows the pattern properly. This is the only case where I would think of like how I'm gonna fold it. Just do this. And then since it's a bit flashy, I would wear something like accessories. I would go with something like these. And then same pants. Pants don't really have to change. I'm showing you the most basic example, like how I would style shirts. So this is how it would look. This is the front and then the thing I like about Burberry shirts is that it shows here. So I like to open it up. I've spent that much money. So I want to, I want to show it. Anyway, the next one is, and then the next one is, what's it called? Like short sleeve. 
don't really know what it is, whether it's synthetic or not, but it is a bit stretchy. It feels like, it, it doesn't feel like cotton. It's way more stretchier and like, it's like this. You can, you can feel from the sound, right? Something like that. So with this one, I would match with either olive or brown pants. And also one of the nice combinations is this type of like beige blazers. They always go well with navy and uh, what's it called? Navy and something like this, like a sky blue color. These always go well with beige blazers. So if you have something like that, see, it looks pretty nice. Now, the next one, I will, I will go quick. Next one is going to be the sky blue linen shirt. Again, this one gives more of a natural look. Oh, this is what I wanted to show you. So you see those tips saying like, tuck in your t-shirt, that's gonna look nicer. Do this, that's gonna look nicer. It's totally depends on your mood and your outfit. So that's what I'm gonna show you right now. First, let's start with formal. If I were to pull off a formal outfit with this, first I would, iron it a bit but I'm not gonna do that right now cuz I'm recording but what I would do is again the beige blazer see how nice it looks and then well if the blazer was linen would have been a bit better the only time I would tuck it in is if I am going for a formal look that's the only time I would tuck it in just do this that's how you style shirt the exact same shirt in a formal way. And then raise your arm once, that's that's how you do this. And then you can go to like a wedding. It does, you can go anywhere with this. And then next one, if you wanna dress more casual, let's go for a casual look. Then actually even casual, I'll just unbutton a bit and grab something like a windbreaker. This one is a linen windbreaker. Then, you instantly became casual, right? You don't look formal. You just become a casual like office runner type. That's what you become and you don't always have to match the fabric, but it is a plus if you match it. So for pants, I can't change right now, but even for the pants, you can either go with these black ones or you can try to match the beige tone. Doesn't really matter. And that's how you style casual, casual shirts. And another way to make it a bit more casual is if you just roll it up again, you don't have to think about like how you're going to roll it up. Just do this. This is how you style casual shirts. And then if you want to go more of like a party feel, just unbutton everything, wear a ring. Then you're ready to party. You can even wear necklaces. And if you feel like you're lacking a bit, just wear something that resembles like a rock star. So even like a leather jacket. It's more like this. See how easy it is? There's no certain way to be like, this is the best way to wear a shirt. This is like, you're gonna look better in this. You just have to know the mood and feel the fabric and be like, okay, with this and that, I wanna pull off this. Then there are so many ways. Like I went from formal to like, this is what, like casual and like party-like. You can do all of that with the exact same shirt, so don't always be like restrained to, I gotta do this, I need I need another shirt for a formal look, I need another shirt for like a streetwear look. Don't be like that, you don't, you don't always have to be like that. Oh, and then if I wanna go for more of a city boy, then you just button this up. You just wear an oversized blazer, I button everything up. Honestly, like for city boy, you can even button it all the way up to here. Ah, there's like construction going on. So. You basically do this, wear a cap, that is a city boy look. With the exact same shirt, I pulled off like how many outfits? I don't know, maybe five different outfits. You can do this as well. You just gotta subscribe and like this video and share it to your friends. That's how you can do it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so what was I doing? What was I doing? I was talking about, actually, okay. I gotta go back to trying different shirts and showing you how it looks. And then the next one is Chinese collar shirt. This one is also 100% linen. I personally find the Chinese collars to be hard to style because if I zip it up, it's kind of weird. So I always like to open it, but at the same time, when I open it, it just folds like this. So honestly, unless you know exactly how to style, don't go for this because I have a hard time like styling this. I can just go out like this, but it's never a great outfit. 
And if I were to layer like a linen blazer, this is how it would look. I just want to show you how the Chinese collars are kind of hard to style. This is how it would look. It's, I don't know. I, I honestly, I'm not a big fan of Chinese collar after buying this. Cause I always look, I mean, I always seem like I'm a prince. I prince, a priest. I always feel like I'm a priest and it just, I don't know. It just doesn't, doesn't look that great. Maybe I'm just not used to it, but yeah, that was Chinese collar. And then there's collarless. And by the way, when you're not, uh, when you're fully buttoning this shirt up, don't have something like a tank top or even a t-shirt. I see so many people wearing t-shirts underneath a shirt and that's no, no, don't do that. That's not, that, that just ruins the fit of the shirt. And also when you, uh, what's it called? When you see someone like having that additional layer, it's, it's just weird. So this one I might have to, actually, I'll just leave it open. I'll just have the tank top. This one is a collarless shirt. So collarless give more of an Asian feel. And the, uh, what's it called? The fabric itself is pretty shiny. I also have a hard time styling this, but I can just go out like this and that's basically it. I can never find nice stuff to layer because if I were to, ah, ah, if I were to, oh, I bumped into one of the things on my ground. If I layer like a blazer, it's, it doesn't look that great, honestly. I, I don't know, I don't know how to wear this. <laughs> This is like one of the struggles. If I layer a blazer and just, let's say I button this up, it looks like I'm from 1970s, uh, like a Korean, Korean civil rights war or civil war. Like it looks like I'm someone who would fight for like independence. Like, you know, Korea, we had the colonization period. And it looks like that. I feel like that and it's kind of weird in my opinion. So this one, I'm still looking for how to, how to layer. It's a pretty nice shirt, but just find it hard to hard to wear other than just wearing it as an outer outer honestly i like this a lot so i usually wear it like this but that is and that's pretty much it for how i would style the shirts that i have and now i will go online and i have three topics i want to shop for minimal shirts workwear and avant-garde shirts and i will show you my thought process so let's go online let's go so let's start with building a minimal outfit back with my blazer again. And one thing to consider when you're shopping, like whether it be minimal workwear or avant-garde, you got to know what the brand is striving for. And cost is a relatively minimal slash casual brand. So that's why I came at cost. Let's go to men's and then men's, men's, men's clothing. What new arrivals? No, I want to look at shirts. Let's go to men's shirts see what they got when you're trying to build the most basic like the most minimal outfit don't go for these stuff because they're kind of like it's got patterns obviously you can make a good outfit with it but still kind of hard for a beginner if you're thinking of like the most basic minimal outfit don't also go for a fatigue pocket so the pockets that are stitched out these are called fatigue pockets and they are most tailored to workwear. So don't go for those again chinese collar it does give a minimal feel, but honestly, I always feel like it's kind of hard to wear. So this would be the most, this would be the most minimal shirt that I can find right now. And then if I go all the way down, no, no, these are really regular fit, right? The regular fit doesn't give a minimal mood. I really like it to be a bit looser. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for somewhat of like a cotton. Oh, I guess they don't have it. Then let's look at Uniqlo because Uniqlo's got a lot of stuff. So if I look at Uniqlo dress shirts, I can't really see the on shots, but slim fit and stretch fit. I wish there's like regular fit. And then is there loose fit? I guess they don't have loose fits, but in terms of the colors, I would recommend something like this, like a bit sky blue or ivory something like this. And then these check patterns are also really easy to wear. So I would definitely look into those ones. And then since they don't have it, let's go to Zara. Zara has like way better fit pictures. And these are what you should look for in minimal outfits. Something like this, like premier texture shirt, something like that with maybe beige. If this shirt came in this beige color, that would be one of the best minimal fit. And then polka dot and silk shirt. That's basically what you should look for. Something that's a bit looser and then not too much accent on the colors, colors, 
not too much accent on the collars and then you basically pulled off a minimal outfit that's that's all you got to consider for a minimal fit and if you guys have any questions definitely leave it in the comments but that's what i can think of like when you're looking also these like stripes are also great for making a minimal outfit probably it and now let's go to the workwear i'm kind of rushing because there's like construction going on and sorry about the rush there's construction going on and i can't really like when they stop drilling i gotta talk and then when they start drilling i gotta be silent so it's kind of annoying and then standard and strange this is where i look for workwear the most you can even like take uh, what's it called like brand inspirations all they carry is workwear shirts so basically what they have as i've mentioned fatigue pockets i wish they don't just transition to the fit shots but as you can see all of them they have fatigue pockets right that's basically what workwear is you just have a lot of pockets and then the colors they're using mostly like masculine colors something like denim related brown red navy and khaki and olive that's basically what workwear shirts are and in terms of the texture so this is a pretty good representation in terms of the texture i'm pretty sure it's yeah 100 cotton but it's really heavy as you can see just from the fit pick it's really heavy and that's what that's the type of shirt that you got to look for when you're building a workwear closet and then if i were to go to the avant-garde section avant-garde is hard like as far as i know is pretty hard to find in a relatively cheaper price so i will go to i will go to shirts clothing shirts maybe i will also mention like minimal here but yeah let's go here actually essence has a lot of like things that you can learn from so i definitely recommend checking out essence they're also canadian like denim shirts these are definitely for like more of the streetwear not that all denim shirts are tailored for streetwear but as you can see it's got the all the fading details and it's got the metal details and that fits streetwear more than like workwear or casual outfits this would be streetwear they, these are somewhat minimal but it's still hard to pull off because of the fabric itself and then something like this again streetwear rockstar vibe if i were to look for and these you can pull off as a minimal outfit but like you wouldn't really have to spend that much to buy that you can go to uniqlo and buy the same thing i wouldn't recommend it and then i am looking for somewhat of like avant-garde stuff avant-garde i can click on like the avant-garde brands that i know like Julius, yoji but i will try to challenge myself but if i go to like page five and there's nothing avant-garde i will click on them with that in mind with the mood and the fabric in mind and even the patterns you can probably categorize right now probably really similar to me so this would be like workwear slash minimal this would be somewhat of a minimal with an accent because of the font this would be streetwear this would be streetwear slash workwear workwear because it's got all the paint splatters and then streetwear also because it's got the paint splatters but the length fits streetwear more than workwear if you were to tuck it in that would be workwear if you were to pull it out and just open it with like a bunch of accessories that will be streetwear so that's something oh this is a bit avant-garde r13 this is a pretty good brand and as you practice this while you're online shopping it will improve your style and it will definitely improve your wardrobe you can make you can spend less and build a better wardrobe that is what i'm dedicated to do so yeah yoji finally popped up avant-garde so with avant-garde you want it to keep it long and you want these type of like like messy details you want to you want to have all the mess that you want and then that's basically so on essence if you go here and you go all the way to the bottom you can see everything that's avant-garde and it's a pretty good recommendation system so i recommend it and let's just go to Julius. This is basically what avant-garde shirts are longer than your usual shirts and then it might have some like ripped out details or it might have another layer but that's basically how you build an avant-garde outfit if you were to look for it so definitely keep this in mind and keep practicing and you will get to improve your style today because of the construction i won't have the ending with my camera i will end it here i hope you guys enjoy this video and see you in my other lectures i don't know what lecture 10 is going to be but it is going to be useful so see ya Bye. I forgot to mention, if you watched up to this point, obviously you enjoy this video. Give it a like, subscribe, share it to your friends. See you in my other videos. Bye.